Hello friends, welcome back. Let's look at how we can fetch data in React. In our example, we will have a users component that will fetch some data and show the names of the user in the list. So we will be using JSON placeholder to fetch our data. So if you scroll down here, you can see they have couple of APIs which can be used to fetch some data. We will be fetching the users. So we are going to download this data. So basically it's a JSON array with 10 users. We will print the names of users. So let's get started. So let's go to Visual Studio Code and here we need to create a folder in components folder. So here I'll create a folder fetching. And inside fetching, I'll create a new file with the name users class.js. And this is a class component. So I will write RC E and press tab. And here I will a caps for user class let's copy this and i'll paste it here as well now to add we need to add a constructor to add a constructor there is a short code rc o n s t okay and here we need to add a property users which is set to null let's save this and we can extract the user property from state variable so here we need to write const users equals to this dot state. Let's save this file. And here we need to add a condition. If the user does not exist, then return a simple div with no users. And if the user exists, then return an ordered list, which is ul. And inside this, we will map the users so curly braces and here we need to write users dot map and inside map we will take an arrow function which will return li list item and here we need to write the variable name which is u you can take any name you want and here we need to print the users so u dot name and then we need to specify a key so as you can see if we go to the url if we go to this uh, JSON placeholder website, so this is the name which we are going to print and this is the ID which we can use as a key. So let's go to Visual Studio Code and to access the key, we need the ID, we need to write u.id. Let's save this and now we need to fetch the API and now we need to make an API call. So we usually put the side effect to component did mount. So here I will write component did mount and inside this we will use the built-in fetch api method so fetch so this built-in fetch api requires a url so this is the url which we required so let's copy this in single quotes inside this we will need to paste it then we have to extract the json body which we can do by calling the response json function so here we need to write then and inside this we will take an arrow function and here we need to write j j dot json so this is the function so this is the json function and then we want to set the state so we can call then and here we need to write users an arrow function so we need to set the state so this dot set state and here we need to write users let's save this file and now we need to import this component in app.js. So let's go to app.js and here we don't require this. And here also we need to remove this and let's import the user component. So user class, users class from dot slash component slash fetching slash users class. And here we need to write users class. Let's save this file and let's check it in the browser. So here you can see. So as you can see here, all the names are been printed. So this is how we can fetch data from API in Classroom. So this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next video.